Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Bjarin, and today I, I'm bringing you, it's not a live commentary, this is a game, I, a gameplay that I got with a knife in the background, but I just wanted to talk to you guys about some things. First of all, my two recent videos had no commentary on. I don't, I do know why, I didn't, I didn't know at all at the time until someone actually commented on it, and my brother actually told me that there's no commentary on it. So, what happened was, I was... There was like some sort of loop again. It's happened before. There was some sort of like PlayStation loop. And basically what I had to do is initialize my PS4, which reset all the settings. Which essentially meant that my recording settings, which is, I think I've got, you need to edit two settings. One in the party chat, which, which is allow your voice to be shared. And you also need to go on share settings, I think it's called video clip settings after that. And then you also need to put a tick in the box where it says include voice audio in the recording video clip. So I didn't realise that they had reset, I forgot all about it until I was told. And then I had a look at it and I thought, oh I'm an idiot. So guys, this commentary should actually work. I will check it before I upload it, but I just completely forgot yesterday. And I believe in this game, I get the gold knife. So I won't be using the knife again, guys, but I did get the gold knife. It, it was fun using it. I think I, I get more kills in this game than I would with a gun. It's really weird how this game turned out. But it was a very good game. Very good game. For a combat knife game, anyway. Anyway guys, I want to talk to you guys about the next Call of Duty. Now as you know, there's a three year cycle between Treyarch, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. Sledgehammer did last year's, which was Advanced Warfare, which is maybe one of the worst ones. Treyarch have done this, this year's or last year's, I'd say this year's. No, I'd say last year's because it came out in November. And then Sledgehammer did the year before. So. Black Ops 3 is, in fact, Treyarch, paired up with Activision, and the next one will be Infinity Ward, paired up with Activision. Now, what I want you guys to... I want you guys to leave in the comments section what you hope, or what you think the next Call of Duty is. It could be Modern Warfare 4, it could be a Ghost 2, because of how the story mode ended in the Ghost 2. I'm not going to spoil that for you if people are like curious or something and you want to play the game go for it i i enjoy ghost personally but a lot of people didn't and i just saw that guy's kill there but it's fine but anyway guys personally i want to see modern warfare 4 the modern warfare series was by far the best series in the franchise in my opinion i know a lot of people like the black ops series but in my opinion modern warfare series is absolutely outstanding i love modern warfare series but it might not be Ghost 2, it might not be Modern Warfare, 4, Modern Warfare 4, it might be a completely new title. But, in my opinion, Infinity Ward have never let me down. I liked Ghosts, I, got, I actually got the highest KD I've ever got on Ghosts, which was a 2.2. I liked Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 3 was an insane game. Modern Warfare 2 was an insane game. I can't really pick which of my favourite cards out of them two. But I still think they are an insane game. They are insane games. Modern Warfare 1 is really good. But that was... I don't know. It's like... It is a good game. But it's like... One of them games where... It's only fun when you've got... When you're in a party. I mean, personally, I enjoy playing the Modern Warfare while I'm in a party. Modern Warfare 3, I played a lot on my own. On solo. Um, I've got some gameplay saved up. As soon as I get an Elgato, I will record them and I will upload them. I've got a, a lot of Moab saved up. I've got some gameplays from Black Ops 2 saved up. I've got all these gameplays saved up and I can't share them with you because you haven't got a recorder. But anyway, guys, leave in the comments section what what actual game you want to see next. What game you think it will be. And as I said, personally, I want another Modern Warfare, but I really don't mind if it's Ghost or Modern Warfare. Like I said, Infinity would never let me down. And as you can see, I've just got my streaks with my knife there. 
guys, if you haven't used the Ripper already, I suggest you use the Ripper. The Ripper is insane. I mean, people say, oh, it's just like using, it's not like using a knife. I'm sorry guys, but it's not like using a knife at all. Using the Ripper is basically having Commando from Modern Warfare 2 on your class. It's absolutely insane and it's quick. You can take, say if you're on ground war, you can take out six people. If you're within the range of them, it's really easy to use. It's really, it's just good all around. I like, yes. the Spectre character is probably one of my favorites, but I, I, I do like the Firebreak. Yeah, that's his name, Firebreak. Heat wave. if you heat wave people, say if you shot people with a heat wave, it's actually easier to get headshots because while they're shot, they're slow moving, they can't see you, and you can just aim for the headshots and boom, you've got it. So, if you use heat wave, headshots are so much easier. Anyway guys, as you saw in this video, just a minute ago, I did get the gold knife. What I've got left to do, I believe, is the XM launcher which is fairly easy. I've just got to take my time with that. And the Elkar 9 pistol. Now the pistol I haven't unlocked yet. I unlock it at level 49. I believe I'm level 47 at this moment in time. And um, I think after I've done that pistol, that's all, that's the diamond pistols done. And then we just need to do that launcher. The launcher might take time. It depends. I mean, if I'm in a good team, the enemy won't be getting any streaks. I won't be able to take out any. So I switched my gun here, guys. I didn't, I didn't think it was use, useful to use the knife anymore. But I switched to my gun. There's 14 kills left in the game. So I think, guys, that is the game racking up. Like I said, guys, I'm sorry about the live commentary is not actually going through on the recording. I did do live commentaries. I was. I actually, they were actually good gameplays as well. No, the latest one wasn't. The latest one wanted to gameplay. I just went through the my hero game, but the gameplay before was an amazing gameplay. I think I ended up get, taking out six people with the purifier. Anyway, guys, this game's rounding up. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot, and it helps the content get out there, and it helps people see, see the content and it helps me pick up subscribers. I've got a little fan base and I can't thank you guys enough for sticking with me. Threat neutralized. And guys, if, you, if you're if new to the content and you like the content, by all means, give to subscribe. I mean, maybe you don't want to subscribe, maybe you don't like a certain video or something. Just leave in the comment section what you'd like to see and I will definitely make that happen. But this game's running up, guys. You got that direct hit impact to finish it off. And there you go, guys. And we went 14 7, mainly with a knife, which is my best gameplay with the knife by far. So, guys, as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.